probably the only cool feature about owning an electric car is the fact that in the morning you can smash your foot on the throttle and do zero to 60 in like three seconds. I'm talking just off the bat, just flatten the throttle and you're gone. We have a interesting car we're gonna be filming today, an old school BMW E28. This owner went and slapped a Mercedes engine in it, and not any Mercedes engine, a diesel Mercedes engine running 560 horsepower. So I'm excited to get out in this, see what it's like. But yeah, we'll hit a little gym session and then we'll make our way to the unit. Everything good? Young. Oh shit, man! <laughs> the DJI thing! Yeah, done again. You got more, you got more! That's 11, done again! Nine, one more. 21, 22. One, two, three, four. Woo! Yeah, 25, six, seven, Eight, nine, big waist. Whoa, and again. I repeat at 50. <laughs> you got to taste that now. Oh, bro. <laughs> Good set, bro. Training done. Now we've got to go start the day after a leg session, boy. Fuck to do that. We're going to start filming this E28 five series BMW 1987 for the record, which is when I was born. As mentioned, this has got a diesel engine, so it's called an OM606. Not sure if they come turbocharged from factory, but, but this one is running a turbocharger, uh, Borg Warner, capable of 650 horsepower. But the color's called Henna Red. You know what, we better pull it out because the light is probably a bit shit as well, isn't it? Let me, uh... Yeah, one thing with this car is you have to push this button down here, which you're not gonna be able to see, to get the glow plugs working apparently, warm them up. Oh, got a turbo timer as well. Keys out, she don't want to turn off. But that is crazy, have a listen to that. Bro, <laughs> is this some kind of joke? Bro, it sounds like a truck. Believe it or not, this car won an award for being one of the coolest modified cars in the country. So yeah, as mentioned anyway, it's finished in henna red. It has a genuine M35i body kit. A lot of money's been spent on it. Really, really rare. You don't really see these come up for sale. Obviously, this is the first generation of 5 Series that was based on the M5. So the M5 came off the back of this. Yeah, as I say, OM606 engine, three litre, six cylinder engine, 440 horsepower and low boost. Uh, these do come rear wheel drive from factory. It's got the original BBS. I'm not sure if you call them the five star alloys, but there must've been some sort of collab at the time. This one's got BC Racing coilovers. We also have upgraded brakes. Uh, they're from the 540i. These were not the lightest. I think they range between 12 to 1400 kilos probably depending on your engine, obviously specification. It's got custom prop shaft, it's got polybush all round. Uh, turbo is a Borg Warner, capable of 650 horsepower. I'm just trying to think what else. It's got a limited slip differential, so hopefully it does stay in a straight line. Interior is nice and clean. We've got the old fucking wooden steering wheel, lads. Six speed manual transmission. Looking kind of Mercedes there, doesn't it? Looking a bit, mm. You jump in this seat, it feels like you are jumping onto a sofa. I'm not gonna lie to you, people. Yeah, she's comfy. Are they electric? No, no electric. Look at the door cards. Got Alpine Hi-Fi system. These buttons here, I think one's for the fuel pumps and one is for the fan. So yeah, it's also got a stainless steel exhaust system, three inch all the way. If this was a proper review right now, guys, really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly slide onto the spec that I've got written out on the car. So I'll do some little sneaky cuts usually, and then I'll come back in like, oh yeah, it's got E36 M3 radiator. Uh, it's also got, uh, one second, it's also got, oh yeah, it's also got a heavy duty 
uh, clutch, so it's capable of 800 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm telling you, any of you lot can become a car reviewer. It's easy, lad. It's easy, I'm telling you. Yeah, okay. I think uh, we'll set up the POV camera and we'll see what she's like, man. So, yeah, we've got... A, <laughs> the gearbox is like almost like a dog box. Where... Not a dog box, sorry. It's like the GT40 which I've not even shown you yet, but it's just awkward to use, man. The gear shift simply isn't left and then up. It's like, it's in the place of like third gear. But this sounds crazy. <laughs> wow, this is fast, people. So as I mentioned, 440 horsepower on low boost. Haven't even asked the owner because this car was bought and brung through by my business partner so I didn't actually speak to the owner. But this is apparently 440 horsepower and as you can imagine, diesel engine, the torque is crazy. Look at this. Third gear, let's wait for the turbo. The Borg Warner, let's go jump. Whoa, Jesus, she's going a little bit sideways. What is that? Fucking, I thought that was a turtle. Okay, you've got to be in the right gear. Wow, Jesus. Wow, this is flipping fast. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting on a sofa though, like I've got no support whilst driving. Fourth gear. Whoa, this is very, very fast. steps out sideways straight away the talk this car's probably got i mean if it's got 560 horsepower this must have like six seven hundred foot pounds or something stupid so yeah like the wheel as well it's nice and thin getting a nice grip on it we've got the bc racing coil over it's third gear why not yeah boy we've got upgraded brakes from the 540i not sure which generation bmw apart from first gear and second gear it is pretty easy to drive. The wheel's nice and weighty, it feels tight. Obviously it's heavy. Got those lovely BBS style alloys, which I used to absolutely love back in the day. All right, let's spin it around, because why not? I have no idea how to get into reverse. never felt a diesel car as fast as this. I couldn't even imagine what those five, 600 horsepower Seats and Golfs are like, the ones you see at Santa Pod. Doing like nine second quarter miles. Really is no support is the problem with the wheel, the steering seat, sorry. Whoa, that is a monster on boost. Yeah, gotta get used to this gearbox. I'm saying the same thing over and over, but it's bloody quick. Okay, we're hitting the red limit. <laughs> Fourth gear. Obviously diesel cars, they're not, they don't usually rev out too hard, do they? Man. <laughs> yeah, this one's quick. Man, this really does feel like the power, you know? Like, it's the torque, innit? A lot of sense of speed in the cabin usually comes from the torque. So, look at this. Why would you just pull out? Just pulled out, rago, like just like cars don't exist. Fucking. 
Japan or fourth gear. So yeah, a lot of money's been spent on this car and it won some type of award. Is it one of those players show? I'm not really into my car shows. So yeah, look at the cabin. It's just sick, man. Nice condition. You know, the shell's got some miles on it, the engine's got some miles in it. Doubt the engine's built. These are engines are known to sort of take a lot of abuse. And it feels tight. It don't feel like I'm driving a car from 1987, you know? BC Racing coilovers, man. Let's go down to third. Man. I'm gonna end the video in a sec because this GoPro is gonna run out of battery. Um, but this one is on the website, nlfgames.com. Ticket link will be in the description. And I'm sure they're up for like 39p, man. These cars are expensive that we're buying. We just buy them because these are the cars that, are the types of cars we do on our page. Second gear, 